very special to another edition. Whoa, 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 Hi. Back in the classroom. This is exciting. Looks exactly the same as it did before, so way to go, myself. Huge announcement. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody. We reached a thousand subscribers, you guys. Woo! Yeah! Oh, whatever. Who cares? It's a big deal, Brenda. You don't have a thousand subscribers. You know, because I have uh, a life. It's really exciting. I heard that when you reach a thousand subscribers, YouTube sends you a muffin. I hope it's cranberry. I don't know about you guys, but I'm stupidly excited for the new school year. Goals for this year. Let's see. Uh, to read at least 7,476 books. I want to buy one of those cars that runs on lemonade. I want to make my own video game called Let's Eat Ice Cream, and it's all about this little boy's quest to become the mayor of Pittsburgh. I want to buy an octopus just to look at it. I want to open a bacon-themed bakery called Bacon Cakes. I want to finally invent that machine that makes it impossible for cats to poop on your face. I want to name all of my toes. I want to make the mustache a thing. You know how we usually go like this? Shh. Just go like this. Shh. Mustache. Shh. It just makes sense. I want to ship Brenda off to Uzbekistan. What was that? Nothing. This week, I want to focus on one of my favorite authors, especially in the beginning of the year, and that's the man, the legend, Roald Dahl. Ro Roald, 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 right? I'm just a few years old, and I've always just assumed it's Roald Dahl. Like you're like stretching out a word in slow motion. Regardless, good old not Ronald Dahl uh, is an amazing author, and his books are still hilarious. And my favorite, ever since I was a kid, of all the Roald Dahl stories is the Twits. Some classic novels don't really stand at the test of time. I'm looking at you, Trumpet of the Swan. But The Twits by Roald Dahl, just like any of his other books, are still hilarious. They're always, always fun to read, whether you're reading them to a group of kids, or whether your kid reading the book for the first or 78th time. Always hilarious. Quick, Bianco, define the word twit. A foolish person. I am Bianco. <laughs> so Wasco would be a twit. No, Mr. Wasco is not a twit. Thanks, Bianco. He's more of a rascal. What does that mean? Rascal, a cheeky or mischievous person, especially a child. I am Bianco. That sounds about right. The Twits may be the most ridiculous of all of the Royal Doll books by far. It's about a disgusting, revolting, horrible, horrifying old married couple named Mr. and Mrs. Twit. Now, Mr. and Mrs. Twit, uh, as you may imagine, are horrible people. They're gross to look at, they probably smell really disgusting, and uh, they play pranks on each other. Like, Mrs. Twit may or may not be putting worms in Mr. Twit's spaghetti. Mr. Twit may or may not seek revenge by tying a bunch of balloons to Mrs. Twit and, uh, you know, sending her off into the air. Like, movie up. Except with an old hag, not a house. They also keep a bunch of monkeys in cages and trap birds and eat them in pies. Ooh, Raoul doll fashion. Uh, the grown-ups are obviously the monsters, and the young people are the good guys. Clearly. And no spoilers, but, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Twit may just get their just desserts at the end. And it's not bird pie. Teachers, if you need a read-aloud book, grab the Twits. Any age level, it's hilarious. You can do all types of silly voices. There's tons of just horrifyingly disgusting illustrations by the master Quentin Blake. And kids, it's super short. So if you want to read a hilarious story and feel really good about yourself because you finished a book this early in the school year, Hey! Remember that time you pranked Brenda by putting her in the garbage? That was a great prank. That's not a prank, Doofus. A prank is more like an elaborate plan that takes a lot of time and effort in order to trick someone else. Like a scheme. Pranks aren't nice, Brenda. You shouldn't be pranking people. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hello? The president of YouTube? What's that? I'm being banned from YouTube? Why? Wait, so the only way you won't ban me 
is if I eat my own boogers? And I have to film it and put it on the internet? That doesn't seem fair, I don't- No, 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 don't, don't, don't ban me, please! I have a thousand subscribers now. I hope I get that muffin. I'll do it for the children's. <laughs> oh my god. Stop. <laughs> no. Don't do it. I know it tastes really gross. Why do little kids do this? More? What? <laughs> this is really <laughs> happening. <laughs> That was funny. <laughs> Let me try. Hey, Wasco, pull my finger. Uh, huh? Uh. <laughs>